All right, so let's focus on the RNAi concept. We're focusing on CCR5, the co-receptor for HIV. Why is that a good target? It's a cellular gene. Don't we need it? If you knock it out, won't we lose important function? Well, it happens that there is a natural population of people who carry two mutant copies of the gene for CCR5 and can't make any CCR5. So the, their cells have no CCR5 on their surface. Those people are actually resistant to HIV infection because H CCR5 is an absolute requirement for HIV infection. But amazingly, they have virtually no other immune defects. They may have defects in relation to one or another specific organism, but to a first approximation, people live a normal life without this gene. So if we can knock down this gene in the cells of an HIV-infected person, those cells will now be able to grow up and replace helper T cell function. Now, some people carry one mutant gene and one normal gene. Those people make somewhat less than 50% of the normal amount of CCR5, and they develop AIDS much more slowly than normal people do. And so uh, we know that even if we could just knock it down 50 or 60%, we could actually affect the course of the disease. If we can knock it down 95%, we can probably have a major effect. So what we're trying to do is to bring into helper T cells an interfering RNA, it's called an RNAi or an siRNA or an shRNA variously, uh, which is able to block the translation of the messenger RNA for CCR5 or cause degradation of the messenger RNA for CCR5. And thus, it'll act like that mutation and protect those cells and those people.